Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Uh, welcome to an online version of Senior Seminar. Unfortunately, we couldn't be together today uh, because of bad weather. Uh, there is still a lot of snow in the roads. Uh, that snow is, uh, you know, becoming ice. Uh, there's it's very slick and dangerous out there. And so I thought, let's rather be let's be safe rather rather than sorry, right? So let's just do this thing online for a little bit, and you guys can get to work on your assignments. Although the flow has been interrupted by uh, this, uh, you know, snowstorm, uh, the flow of the class has been interrupted, you know, we'll get back into it, right? The main change um, that is going to take place are the group presentations. So group one and group two, you guys are going to be presenting on Monday the 8th. Group three is going to be presenting on Tuesday the 9th. And group four is going to be presenting on Wednesday uh, the 10th. So that's really the main change that's going to take place. All the other assignments will be the same. For instance, uh, today I posted assignment number 7, which is going to be due on Sunday the 7th at 11 p.m. And this assignment is going to ask you to summarize, to read and summarize Robert Tello and Terry 2007. Now, one thing that I've been noticing with the assignments is that some students are borrowing the language of the articles that they're summarizing. This is not the goal of this assignment. The goal of the assignment is for you to read the, read the paper, identify the things that are the most valuable from that paper, and put them in your own words, right? These summaries are part of your final paper. And because they are your final paper, it has to be on your own words. So if you see that your assignment has 70% similarity scores, that means that you're borrowing too much the language. You're taking the words. And that's not the goal, right? Um, you know, I, I, I'm trying not to take a lot of points off because of that. And I won't, uh, you know, in the first two couple of assignments. But on the third and fourth assignment, I will have to do that. Because if I keep telling you the same thing, um, and you keep doing the same thing, then I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to ding you a little harder for that. So make sure that you you're paraphrasing, right? Uh, that's assignment number seven. That's gonna be due uh, Sunday the seventh at um, eleven p.m. Also, I posted assignment number eight, and this is the th stuff that I wanted to kind of do in class in the lab using SPSS. Right, because assignment number eight, for assignment number eight, I want you to use the data, the National Crime Survey, National Sample of Rape Victims from 1973 to 1982 data set to answer the first research question, right? The, the first research question is to describe the demographic characteristics of rape victims. And so I wanted really to, you know, use the techniques that we learn um, on Wednesday um, uh, both in the lecture and in SPSS, um, for you to get that data, create a table, and then you go home and and, and report that table. So th that's essentially the the that's essentially the task. The task is for you to create a table similar to the one that we created uh, uh, at. Um, uh, on Wednesday, uh, but it's going to be about the demographic demographic characteristics of rape victims, and you should, you know, number one, once you create the table, is that you need to appropriately label that table. So this should be table number one, but if you also have table number one, x x x y, what is the title of that table? And then once you have that done, then you write up about a page or so describing what's on that table, right? That's reporting your findings. That's really important, guys. We want to report the findings. If you look at the, the, the research paper assignment, I make a distinction between reporting and discussing, right? So reporting simply means it's a very mechanical type of thing where you're just simply reporting what the findings are. There's no interpretation. There's no... There's no real discussion, right? You're just literally telling me what the table what the table says. Um, then in the discussion session, you, section, you will have the opportunity to 
um, to fill in the blank, to answer the questions, to summarize the big ideas, the big takeaways, right? This, that's where you do it. But for now, I only want you to report uh, the findings. So put the table, right? Table one, uh, properly label that table, and also um, report the findings on that table. And I, and I want that I want that done uh, on um, it says Thursday the eleventh the base the seventh is Sunday the seventh. Um, so okay, those are the two assignments for for Sunday. So what I wanted to do now is to take a look at the data set. You guys took a look and summarized how the data was collected, um, but. Uh, what I want to do today is just take a closer look at the variables that are available to you guys. Now, if you looked at the code book, the code book has hundreds of variables. And I didn't really want to have you guys deal with so many different variables. And so I cut the variables by a whole lot. Um, and if you see here, um, you know, there's a couple of, you know, there's different types of variables. For instance, uh, V52 to V75, those are neighborhood uh, variables. Uh, you know, they interview these victims or, or these people, which are either victims or not victims of sexual assault. And they ask them questions about their neighborhood, kind of like, you know, well, not questions about the neighborhood. They inve they investigated the demographic characteristics of the neighborhood. So they have the ne the neighborhood's divorce rate, the neighborhood's uh, high school dropout, the neighborhood's unemployment rate, the neighborhood's median family income, and the idea of measuring stuff at the neighborhood level is that there are certain neighborhood characteristics that perhaps might put you a higher or lower risk of being, you know, a victim of sexual assault or, or a victim of crime generally, right? So that's why they collected that. And I left that there because I think it's, it's something useful for you to explore when you're thinking about the factors that lead to sexual assault, right? Not all factors are individual factors. Some factors are at the neighborhood level. The ecological factors, right? This is from High's, uh, from High's article. Um... Then you also then you have demographic characteristics like uh, the respondent's age, uh, the respondent's uh, marital status, the respondent's race, the respondent's sex, uh, the respondent's highest grade attended, um, the the respondent's employment status recorded. Um, you have variables on how look how the sexual assault occurred you know, where the place, whether you have been uh, sexually assaulted or not. Um, did, the, did the offender try to use physical force? Did the uh, victim try to reason with the offender? Did the victim scream, yell for help? Uh, did, did the offender, did the victim uh, left the scene, run away? Um, this this V36 to um, V38 uh, is about the offender, the, the sex of the offender, the approximate age of the offender, the relationship with the offender. Um, all right. Uh, so you also have the offender's race. Uh, also, these are more situational uh, information. Was the victim attacked? Was the victim threatened? Uh, did the victim inform the police? Uh, reasons why the the offend, the victim did not uh, did not inform the police things like nothing could be done did not think uh, important police not bothered uh, do not want to take the time private person matter do not want to get involved afraid of reprisal right uh, or maybe they reported to somewhere else not the police. Uh, and this is another variable, uh, whether or not you were employed at the time of the incident and also uh, what type of employee are you, meaning that you work in the private sector, uh, uh, government, or uh, you're an entrepreneur or self-employed. And so uh, I think this the variables that I selected for you 
uh, allow you for a vast amount of information on the subject and I think it will allow you to reasonably answer the questions uh, laid out for you in the assignment, right? The four questions. Um, and so for the first assignment, unfortunately, you're not there to do it yourself in the lab. And so for the first assignment, I'm asking you for the demographic characteristics. And so what I'm going to do uh, now is that I will, you know, uh, I will, you know, get the descriptive statistics for, you know, for the uh, respondent's age, uh, marital status, race, sex, uh, uh, highest grade attended, uh, employment status, and, and, and I will provide that uh, for you in the folder. There's going to be another folder. And your job will be to take those tables there and combine them into one table, similar to what we did in class, right? So I want you to do that. that this is going to be the foundation for assignment, for assignment eight, right? And so I want, I want assignment seven and assignment eight on, on Sunday. Uh, group one, group two, we will be presenting on Monday. Group three on Tuesday. Group four on Wednesday. And then on Monday, we're gonna go to because we don't have access. We, we I don't think we're gonna have access to the statistics lab, the computer lab on Thursday and Friday. Uh, what we'll do, uh, well, so what I'm trying to do is to get all, all the data analysis done by Wednesday. So we're gonna I think on on a Monday we're gonna try to answer question uh, three. Um, and then on Tuesday, question two, and then on Thursday, question four. And so, um, so th 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 that's, that's the plan. I'm hoping that's the way it's going to go, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, the, there isn't going to be uh, another uh, weather event. Um, that's everything from now. Uh, my, m the only thing that I, I uh, you know, want to finish up by saying is, you know, these assignments are really, really important, right? They make up the final exam, plus they're worth uh, points. So, you know, if you're really serious about, you know, taking this class, I mean, I mean, the vast majority of you are doing really, really well and doing all the assignments and getting good grades, doing a really good job. But if you're not doing the assignments, you know, either you need to withdraw from the class or, um, or, or, or change uh, real quick because we only have five days left. Uh, and unfortunately, because we have five days left, um, I'm not inclined to be reading late, late assignments. Uh, I have other, every day I have to grade things that are incoming for that day. So if you um, are not serious about the class, if you don't feel like you have the time to do the assignments, then, uh, you know, you should probably withdraw. Uh, you know, uh, there's no, no harm, no foul. Um, uh, the rest of you, uh, you know, you guys are doing a great job. I'm very proud, so, so keep it up. All right. All right, guys. So I will see you on Monday and uh, in the folder where this lecture is uh, uploaded, uh, there will be the um, tables uh, or the information on each variable uh, on the demographic characteristics of the victims. That's the information you will use to make the table. All right, guys, you have a great weekend and, and get to work.